Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel where we focus on using ordinary materials to make beautiful things. Today I'm going to start working on some ephemera for my um, sunken treasure journal. You might remember this one. We did the cover. It's got the elastic bindings and multiple pages to decorate. And so I want to, instead of going through and, and kind of decorating them one at a time, which I do want to do, um, I want to kind of make some ephemera ahead of time so I have some tags and some tickets and some pockets and some maybe window envelopes, things like that, ready to go so that I can add those to the book um, kind of all at once. So in preparation for that, I thought we would go ahead and make some tags today. I have um, several of these pages that I've already kind of done a basic sort of master board on. This is a magazine page, and so I like it because the page is thin, so when you add um, layers of stuff to it, it doesn't get too bulky. Um, so this one you can see just has uh, just printed things that are, you know, um, written, so text-based. Uh, so that's that one, and I had several of those. So one of them I have cut apart into tags. So I'm gonna make three tags today um, using that. So that is one of the advantages. Um, if you have scraps and you want to uh, go ahead and do um, a page or two, find a magazine, put, just put the scraps down, things maybe that you think go together, like these are all text-based, they're all kind of very neutral, and then you can cut them up later and do anything you want with them. Uh, I do have other pages that are color coordinated that have scraps that are all like blues and greens or yellow and orange, that kind of stuff, so that I have some of those as well. But I thought for what we're doing today that I wanted the contrast of just a, a basic background. So this is something really handy to have in your stash. Um, so I'm going to, as I said, be making three tickets. There are three tags, not tickets, tags today. And I'm going to be using images from this coloring book. This is a coloring book that I have drawn, that I drew in the past. Um, I have a business called The Cockeyed Colorist that I used to sell coloring books and now I sell uh, 3D art kits. We've kind of discontinued the coloring books. Um, I have a few left. So of the ones I have left, I kind of use them to, to cut up and do things with. So I just wanted to show you this coloring book uh, so if you have a coloring book that's a themed coloring book, you could you could cut definitely cut pictures out um, and and color them. So I thought this would be a lot of fun. A lot of the little images in here would be a good thing to do. Now because I own the images, I went in and resized some of them and and made them a good deal smaller. Uh, and then so I have like small, medium, and large images to use throughout the book. Um, but that's because I own the file. If you bought a digital file, you could do the same kind of thing um, if you wanted to in, in your own book. Um, most digital files will tell you whether or not you can use them uh, to sell someplace else. Uh, mostly they're for personal use or to be cut up and, and used maybe in, in other projects, um, that kind of thing. But because I own these, because I drew them, I can kind of do whatever I want with these. Uh, so I have some larger images and some smaller ones that I just kind of went through and, and I, I cut some out and I colored them um, and I have them divided into uh, three stacks of kind of small, medium, and large. So that's the coloring book and that's from 2015. Okay, just when I just when I created that. Um, so. I have pulled out small images. You can see I've just colored, kind of colored a bunch of the small ones. Um, and I did some of them in, you know, like rainbowy, fun rainbowy things. And then I did other ones that were a little more subdued in greens and blues. I have a little mermaid here in greens and yellows. So these are kind of the smaller, uh, small to, I guess they're not really medium. I have some medium that are bigger. Um, so some jellyfish and palm trees. So we just kind of have an assortment that we're gonna put on put on the tickets. Um, I also have a little bit bigger, I have some, some medium-sized ones. 
so we might we might want some of the larger um, the larger pieces of of uh, seaweed you know at the bottom with the fish fish going through them um, you know so there's so we could use several things for focal images um, that are about the right size for a tag so these are these are a little bit bigger and then I have uh, some really large ones over there um, that we will pull in to do pages with um, so I think I think the medium size should be plenty big for for our tags but you know maybe we might do something like that and a piece of coral and then have some fish swimming up above you know that kind of thing so I think that's that's what we're after um, today so let's get let's get started on it I also brought along some embellishments and all kinds of jewels and you know you know me have to have all that so the first thing I want to do is uh, back these because they are on um, pages this is on actually a book page instead of a magazine page but it was you know same same idea um, and I have coffee dyed notebook paper now I like to back tickets and car I keep saying tickets I mean tags and journaling cards and things like that with notebook papers so you can line you can put lines on them you can leave them plain you could just put plain paper you could put a real pale print paper you could put something um, from a jelly print that you have that's that's really pale um, you could leave this and just put tissue over it to, to dull it down so it's not very dark so you could still write on it um, but I, you know, my personal preference is lined notebook paper. Um, maybe it's because I spent so many years as a teacher. I, I like lined notebook paper. <laughs> so um, I just have, you know, some old notebooks that I, that I took the pages out of. This is a composition book. Um, it's got really wide lines. So I have some that are narrow lines and I have some that are um, graph paper and all kinds of things. But it's just coffee dyed, um, coffee dyed notebook paper. So we're going to start by by putting these on the notebook paper. So hopefully the Yoohoo stick will be a good choice for that. Now I don't really worry about if the writing on the tag is upside down, right side up, it, it really just does not matter to me. Uh, in some ways, I almost prefer it to be upside down because then I'm not tempted to read it. So, got some bubbling going on here. Guess I should have gotten my, my little card. So, you know, the thing is, is if we get it stuck on there and then it's a little bit loose, we can always go back in with the art glitter glue around the edges, which maybe I should do to start with. You know, maybe I should put this on here and then, and then do some art glitter glue around the edge. That's probably a good idea. I have them every now and then. <laughs> good choice to make sure the edges are, are good and stuck down. Put that top back on there because it dries out quickly. with a little of the glue under the edge on this one. This one doesn't seem to be like in this corner. Oh no! 
Glue me down, glue me down. <laughs> you talk to your craft supplies. I do. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside to dry while we do number three here. And we'll get started. Well, I guess we're started now, so. I, uh, I really like using things that I have drawn or colored when I'm when I'm making something. You know, that's the fun part of whoops, having like digital stamps or something like that. Um, if you if you buy those, you can download them and print them and color them any way you want, um, which is fun I think because that allows you to participate in making the image and which is not to say i mean i i use plenty of images oh towel i use plenty of images that i cut out of magazines and books and everything else so that's not to say that i, I don't do that because i certainly do um i just i just find it a little more fun sometimes to use either my own images or something that i have um, participated in making by coloring him and that's what we're doing today so I think it's just I think it's just fun it's a fun way too if you have um, coloring books you know left over from the coloring craze which I guess people a lot of people still do color uh, you just don't hear about it as much anymore there are lots of coloring pages online that are free so you could use those images in in your own art. Um, certainly, they're not they're not free to sell. You can't you can't necessarily resell them, um, but you could definitely use them in your own book. You know, if you're just making a book for yourself, then you could certainly use them there. I don't have a corner rounder. Um, that's one of those things that you know would be fun. I think to have. I just I just don't have one, and I see everybody um, using corner rounders. You know, everybody. Well, I don't know. Maybe not everybody. Um, well, most of the people I watch, I guess, um, have a corner rounder. Although the other day I was watching somebody, and she didn't have a corner rounder either, which made me feel better <laughs> because I wasn't the only one. That looks like that's coming up a little bit. That is the hazard sometimes of cutting things apart. Um, and she just rounded them, you know, with her scissors, which I thought was kind of cool. I, I don't have, hadn't had the confidence to do that. And she just kind of, you know, just cut around it. And I was like, oh, I, I guess I could do that. But I don't know why I didn't think I could, but I guess I could. So today we're going to try that. Gonna try rounding those corners just by cutting them so <laughs> if it doesn't work it doesn't work so she just she just went I mean she just literally like did that so that's not too bad so. this is a hazard of course of you know when you do a master board kind of thing. Sometimes you have pieces that are trying to escape. You have to subdue them, glue them into submission. <laughs> so I've got those little rounded corners and I'm never quite sure, you know, how big to make the, the corner up here. So frankly, I think a lot of times I make it too big like that. And then I end up cutting it a little bit like that to make it not quite so big. So that's kind of fun, I think. So that's good. We've definitely got the words upside down. These words are all kind of sideways, so. Yeah. I'll try that, maybe. Oops. Didn't do that very well. <laughs> I guess that's the problem with not having a corner rounder is you can cut it, but it may not be even. 
but that's okay. It's supposed to be handmade, so I guess it's okay if it's not even. That is the idea, right? Is that it's not perfect. If it were perfect, it might be made by a robot or maybe on the computer where somebody put in their idea and then let the computer smooth it all out and perfect it. That's, you know, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that either. There's a time and a place for all of that, I think. So it just depends on what you're after on any given day. Like I'm not disparaging. Yeah. Disparaging that at all. It's just, it's just different, right? Okay, so I seem to be good at this one, but then I'm not good at the other side. I wonder if it's the angle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I might have to buy a corner rounder. <laughs> but in the meantime, we'll do without. So I'm excited to work on this, this um, buried, it's not buried treasure, it's sunken treasure. I'm excited to work on this sunken treasure book because I just love the ocean and I've been dreaming about the ocean because it's coming on summertime. My husband's a teacher and school is just about out here. Um, it starts very early, so it's out. It's out pretty early. So that's, that's always good and I'll be glad to have him home hanging out with me. Okay, I guess those are, are close enough. We'll do a hole punch thing at the end. Get that towel out of my way. Okie dokie. So let's see. I'm thinking it might be fun. I, I thought one of them, I have this. This is from um, some vegetables. This is, I, I like avocados. And so this is like the bag that my avocados come in. <laughs> but I thought it looked like a fishing net. So I thought it would be fun, you know, to have maybe something like this and then to have some fish on top and you know, maybe underneath that are caught in the net. That might be fun. So... And then I could put some jewels in there. I'm thinking maybe like that. So we'll just kind of do a basic, we'll get our basic idea. Should we should we have this on top or underneath? I have let's see. Could do one on top and one underneath. Maybe this one kind of can, inter can be intertwined. Oh, that might be fun, huh? You could kind of anchor it down here. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that would be good. And maybe we want another one here kind of behind. Hmm. And then I think we need some fish. So let's see what we have. Those are shells. That one's a little big, I think. Oh, here's some here's some little fish. There's a couple smaller fish. They're all going the same way. Let's see, there's some anemones, coral. Hmm, that one might be okay. There's a little jellyfish. Here's a starfish. Oh, this one's nice. There's another little fish that can swim. That one's a little big, I think. That one might be a little big. There's some other ones. Jellyfish. Okay, I think the rest of them are, are bigger. Mm, no. There's a shark. I could cut the edge off and have him swimming. Maybe not. Okay, let's let's work with these. So I kind of like these, and these are all the same 
same little guy, different sizes and colors. We could maybe have our starfish down here at the bottom, kind of sitting in the in the reeds down there. We could have this guy coming down. He would be kind of fun, floating in. Maybe one here. So that would give us three, four, five elements. So we have that nice. That's kind of fun. I, I like that. I kind of like him. He's fun. So, all right. Let's go with that. Do we want to, do we want the rainbow fish or do we want, this is kind of orangey pink. Maybe we want to stay with that color. He's a little bigger. Stay with that colorway. Or do I like this one? I like that one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. This seems easy enough, huh? Seems to be swimming right along. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put him down at the back. Um, so I think, I don't think we're going to have to use... I think we might have to use some hot glue on the ones that are going over that netting. Which the hot glue might actually melt the netting, but... I think because of the texture of the netting, I don't think regular glue is going to hold it down. So I'm going to let him stick off the bottom a little bit so I can so I can trim that off. Okay, now this guy, this guy, let's put some glue. Okay. I'm just having trouble with my towel today. <laughs> Let's put some glue on him. See if we can get him to sit down with the netting still on him. My fingers get so sticky, then they start sticking to the paper, so that's why a towel is good. Yeah, see, he's they're sticking down some, but I think we're gonna have to I think we're gonna have to be sure to use some hot glue to hold these down over the top. Okay, we'll start with that little guy there. Oops. Get my glue gun here. Doesn't need a lot. There we go. It's a little loose still there. That's good. I mean, I don't mind that the edges are, it's going to be loose around it. I'm not going to try to glue that netting down at all. Just going to glue these things on top to hold it in place. So that will kind of hold it in place. So. Where do we want him? Off to the side and then the little fishy down here. I think that's a good idea. Okay. I do think I'm going to go in and do just a little dot of glue under each of these because I think if I let them stick up that they might they might get torn as we take the tag in and out because it'll probably go into a pocket of some kind so it can be a little dimensional but not too much we don't want too much so much we don't want so much stuff sticking up that it catches every time you take it in and out so that is, that is the trick. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. 
first to hold it down. There, see, you can see that hot glue hit that little block. I don't know if you saw that or not, but it hit the netting, and because it's plastic, it kind of <laughs> pulled it in a little bit. That's okay. Um, and then I think we want this little guy down here swimming in. All right. Okay. Liking that. Let's do a quick little trim here just to clean up the edges. See, doesn't that look nice on the back? There's some coffee dyes so somebody can write on the back of it. It's a nice little tag for that. All right. So, now I have all kinds of, of cute little embellishments here. All kinds of doodads. So I've got, I've just got some clear jewels. I've got some blue ones. These I think are too big for this, but definitely would be fun on something splashing. Maybe we're going to want to use those on a bigger. Those are, those are a little big. There's some smaller ones in here. These are kind of fun, the iridescent. Oh, I like the pink pearls. Those might be fun. Here's some blue pearls, dark blue. Okay, right now I'm leaning towards those pink ones. I really like those. I think that is gonna be really cute because this is kind of purple and pink together. Um, I colored all of these with Prismacolor pencils. And so I layered a lot of the colors. So it's, it's a little hard to see, I think probably on camera, but this is, you know, two colors of orange. One is kind of a pinky orange and a lot and a darker orange. Um, and this has um, kind of a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue, like you can see the blue kind of catching in the light. And then there's some kind of pink and red, uh, kind of a bricky red on there. Um, so that is one of the fun things about pencils. Um, there are, you know, you certainly can blend markers as well. You just have less time. Pencils, pencils give you a little more time because it's not, they don't dry, so you can kind of Kind of use them uh, wherever wherever you choose. All right, do we want, I don't think we want a line of them. I think we just kind of want them dotted around. So we'll keep saying I need to get a pair of for those really, you know, nice tweezers <laughs> to do all these little jewels with, but alas, don't have those either, but that's okay. You know what, I'm not, I don't have any sentiments out today, but I think I'll leave that because I'm, maybe I'll put something about the ocean or something there. I'm still toying with the idea of using um, quotes from poems throughout the book. I haven't, to. Uh, I haven't decided about that yet because I haven't gone through and found enough poems yet. Um, but certainly, I think that would be a really fun way to go. This kind of just looks like little bubbles. That's cute. That's cute. Maybe one over here. that edge down. That's good. Four. I think we want an odd number for sure. So that one up here maybe. There's five. I'm thinking maybe seven because I see you know some spots I'd like another one right here. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think here? Kind of up that way. Kind of at the bottom, maybe by the fish. Maybe right here. Okay, so there's three, six, seven. Although that one up there kind of is by itself, so this kind of looks more like there's six down here. Maybe one more over here. Maybe one more. What the heck? I have one in my hand, so we might as well use it. Okay. All right. I think the only thing left then is to um, punch a hole in it and maybe put some lace through there. I'm not really sure what kind of ribbon or anything I want through there. Might be fun. I wonder if we could put some more of that. That would be fun to put some of that on and tie it at the top, wouldn't it? Ooh. Okay, let me grab my hole punch. All righty. Should we just eyeball it? Might be easier to eyeball it from the back. I am always bad at getting it right in the middle, so I think. It's not right in the middle <laughs> it never is I you know I just I should know by now that I just need to mark it because I'm just not good I you know I put it in here and I guess I can't see both sides of it evenly so unless I'm over the top of it but I've, I've really on the back it's pretty skewed oh well let's see can we get that through that little hole Do it from front to back, then that will be on the front, right? Oh, now that's fun. Okay, that's just fun. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I don't know that it even needs a sentiment. If I, if I find something later when we're putting it in the book, we might put one like right there. But otherwise, I'm just loving that. I think that's adorable, and I love this little, this little netting up here. Should we trim it? Nah, let's not trim it. Let's leave it. Hmm, that's too much fun. Okay, that's one. Let's, let's do another one. I have some lace and some washi tape and all kinds of things so we could we could start with some lace like it's underwater oh we could uh, maybe do some distress ink on it so it looks kind of watery blues and greens together that might be good let's try that haven't done that let's see I've got peacock blue I've got cracked pistachio. I peeled paint. I don't know which of these is going to be the best color wise. Let's grab, let's grab a scrap of paper here and see how they're going to look. Let me try it. Try it. Um, citrus might be a little bright. So I'm thinking I'm gonna want to like do a couple different colors. So let's do a little peeled paint, which kind of looks mossy green. That's kind of nice. And then let's try a little of the peacock on top of it. Ooh, that's pretty. I kind of like that. 
All right, so let's do, on this side, let's do the peacock first, because sometimes it matters what color you put down on the bottom and what you put on the top. It, it can look very different. You, know, you can use the same two colors, but the order can make a, a big difference. Um, and that's true like when the color, when you're using the colored pencils. Okay, so we definitely get more blue if we put the blue down first. So I'm thinking that's what we're gonna want to do because I really like this more than I like this because the blue just isn't showing up as much on, against that green. All right. So I'm thinking we're just gonna kinda come in and do some blue. Maybe we'll ink the edges and stuff too so it's on the back. And I don't think we need to cover everything because we are gonna go over it with the green. That piece is coming up a little bit. I'm always having trouble with this lid. <laughs> I really like this glue, but I, am, I have trouble because I always wanna take off the bottom part because it, I think it's the lid because it's bigger. And then I always think the lid just pops off and it screws off, so <laughs> it's just, Apparently, I'm just not sure how to operate a glue stick. Okay, while we're at it, let's go ahead and do some blues around the edge here. I haven't uh, determined how many tags, tickets, etc. I need because I haven't really... You know, I need to go through and count the pages again because I've forgotten how many pages I put in. <laughs> and I'm not sure, you know, every one of them won't have a tag or a ticket, but, you know, they might have an envelope or something with a, I think it'll be fun. We could do some, some oceany looking envelopes with paint or ink and then, um, you know, maybe Maybe put some collage, a few little collage pieces on it. Put put something peeking through the window of the envelope. That always makes a nice pocket. Okay, I think we're good with the blue here. Let's go with the with the green. Let's see. Do I have the field paints? That's the one we used. It is. Thought we might use the pistachio, but I think the pink paint's good. And let's go ahead and do some of that around the edge as well. Oh, I think that's pretty with the blue and the green together. And see, this makes a nice little journaling card on the back, this tag. I want to leave journaling space in the book, but I'm not sure like how much. I think I would rather have most of it hidden. I mean, I think there will be a few pages that are that are just there to journal on, but I, I think I want most of it kind of hidden. And by hidden, I mean, you know, like on the backs of tags or on the backs of journaling cards or tucked in a pocket. You know, we can do, um, we could do some cute little stapled together, um, you know, scrap notebook things that we could put in to some of the pockets. And because we've used that elastic binding, then it can kind of get uh, a lot bigger. And if it gets too big for the binding, we can take out pages um, or do some flat. Uh, so I wanna make sure that it fits. I think at the end, after, after I'm done embellishing it, I think at that point, I might go in and, and sew down, uh, sew in the, the signatures. But I really, I'm really liking having that elastic now for now. Look how pretty that is with the green over the blue. I'm just kind of filling in where the white still is. And since I went, since I went this way with the blue, if I go this way with the green, it'll help fill that in. Just turn it. Go the other direction. Oh, 
Oh, I think that's really pretty. I really like that. <laughs> oh, so happy when a plan comes together. All right, who said that? That was uh, the guy on A Team years ago. Oh my gosh. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so maybe something a little bigger on this one. I think she's too big. It's too bad because, well, maybe her rock's just too big. That would be kind of fun because her hair is the blue and the green and it kind of matches. <laughs> I thought, you know, sometimes sometimes I color the mermaids like colors that you might actually see, but then a lot, I like a lot of times to make them, I mean, she's kind of brown and green like she's been under the ocean, right? So she's she's under the ocean. So that would, we'd just lose the very edge there. That's cute. So we just need something in the background up here. Um, what do we have? Those are, I think, all too big. I don't know if I have anything small in the distance. We'd have to maybe have some land there behind her. Mm. Ooh, we could have a whale jumping in the background. Nope, he's too big for this little ticket too much. Maybe we just want to um, put something, in, you know, simple in the background. Maybe some of that lace. Let's see. Piece of lace back here. That might be fun. You can still see that pretty blue-green through it. And have her on top of it. And what? Maybe some jewels for like the stars or something like that. That would be pretty, I think. So, let's see, is this enough? I don't think so. That kind of leaves. Let's, well, we could probably use that. I don't want to use any more than I have to, right? I like to kind of conserve some of this. This is about all I have left of this, this really wide blue lace that I really love, but, you know, I pick things up in, you know, places that it's not like I get the whole spool or anything like that. It's, you know, it comes in bags from the secondhand store and... Okay, so how are we going to get that to stay down? We can glue her on top of it. And I think I could just put some glue along the edges there. Might just have to put down some dots of glue along the edges here and see, see what we can get. That is the hard part about gluing lace is it's just, it's really hard to figure out how you're gonna get it to stick. <laughs> right, so I wonder if it would be better to glue her down and then come in and glue some more of the edges. I don't know if that's even gonna stay long enough for me to... See, now my fingers are sticky. Of course, sticky fingers. And it just keeps, I just keep pulling the lace up because my fingers are sticking to it. Uh, how annoying. Okay, I think let's glue her down and see if we can get that to catch the edge of the lace. And then maybe I'll go in with some dollops of glue. I don't know how much of her we're going to lose off the edge. So pull that down a little bit. Just want to press it really, really hard, really good there to make sure that that glue is going through the edge of the lace onto the paper below. Up 
mess here. Doesn't want to stay. Come on. Might have to go in with a little bit of the glue gun just to get the edges to stay. So I think it'll be fine, but it's just not, just not wanting to stay there a little bit. But all right, we'll keep working on it in a minute. We'll give this a chance to dry a little bit. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put some stuff over the top of it here so that will keep it help keep it on there. So what could we put there? Is there anything that looks like a sun maybe? Could this be? Could we have, she could be sitting in the sun and the sun could be a jewel. Like the sun. Oh, that's pretty. Huh? Let's see. That might be pretty up here in the sky. That could be the sun. I'm, I'm not sure what else we could have. We could have some little jewels maybe out around it, some little small ones reflecting, reflecting down through the air. Okay. I just thought I could get that back in there. Maybe some of these scattered around. I think that's a good idea. I like that. And I like her. I like this up here. So, all right. So even though this is a sticker, I'm definitely going to put some glue on it. And I'm going to go ahead and use the hot glue just to make sure that it stays on that lace. Because I really need it to hold that lace down. We can put a little more glue there if we need to. So it's puffing a little bit, but that's okay because it's lace. You can smooth it out. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to go in with a little bit of glue here. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and trim off the excess back here. Really love this color on the back. There we go, probably wanna see the front to do this. Doesn't pull away too much. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, let's try a few little jewels here. That'll help us anchor. We can put some in places here to anchor some of that down. Maybe a couple in her hair. That would be pretty in her hair, I think. If I can figure out how to get this open. Ah, there's the side. <laughs> All right. Got a little blue stick here. sticking to my fingers. This is what happens when you get glue all over your fingers. I may have to stop and go wash my hands just because my hands are so sticky. Well, and then I got glue on top of that, so. 
and it's not quite so bright. Yep, just sticking to my fingers. I guess it's a new meaning to sticky fingers, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, now I can't even get off of this because it's sticking to my fingers. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. Let's try again. Try again, Jenny. Try again. Pretty, maybe a couple more up in the sky here, like one over here. Probably should have punched a hole and put a thing there before I put all this stuff on, but oh well, maybe we'll make a tab. Maybe we can make a tab out of something instead of punching a hole. That might be a good way to go. <laughs> okay, just a mess here with the fingers. Let's see, I think her little starfish could use a Use a jewel. I think she definitely needs a few in her hair. This is when you need tweezers because you have glue on your fingers and you can't get your fingers to let go of what it needs to let go of. And by the time you do, the glue's probably not hot anymore. <laughs> oh, gosh. You can definitely see I'm going to have to stop and go wash the glue off of my hands so that I can proceed after this, after this tag because I am just having trouble. All right, maybe one more. Down here. Okay. I think that looks nice. I like that a lot. Yep, 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 yep. These are just going right along today, so sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just a struggle to figure out what to put on them. But, you know, since I am so much in love with ocean stuff, maybe I'm not struggling because it's just, you know, one of my favorite things. Okay. Um, all right, let's see what we're going to do about the top for a little pull tab. Um... I guess we could use another little piece of lace. Maybe a piece of the, do we have a piece that we cut off? That's not very big. I don't think that would make a pull tab, do you? Could we use that? Maybe we could. How would that look on the back? Hmm. Perhaps. You know, and if we can use something that would have gotten thrown away. That's always better. If we glue that in there. Yep. We'll try it. Okay. 
maybe we can double this over. Oh, maybe we could roll it a little bit. It's a little long, I think. Just if we do that. And I'll have a little more to grab on to. Okay, so that's pretty good, but I'm feeling like this is a little a little um, unsteady there, so maybe we should put something over the top of it that we can glue down again, like glue something else. So, a line of bling, let's see. Oh, we got this in the green. That might be pretty. Let's just add that across the front up here. That'll just give another layer of the glue to hold that lace down because I'm concerned that the lace is gonna is gonna let go here. So just put a line across there. There we go. I think that's really pretty. I think that's kind of a cute little pull thing and it just looks like some lace. There's just like a little bunch of lace and, and there's that. There's room on the back to write. Okay, I'm liking that one. Very cute. All right, two down, one to go. I don't know how we're doing for time because I can't see my cloth and I've lost my last tag. There it is. Okay, so we've done ink on one, and ink, and we've done some lace, and we did the netting. What else, what else could we do? Let's see. Got some pearls. Got some of this trim. Might be fun to put across the bottom. Could we do with that if we put it across the bottom maybe need something coming up from it could have a palm tree i don't know that's so much stuff hanging down that might be a little much for a tag because it's gonna it is gonna go inside a pocket so Maybe that's not the best option. Sometimes I think something's gonna be good and then I look at it and realize that that's not so good. Not so good, maybe. We could really do something blingy. Very blingy. Oh, you know, we have these. What about that whale? And we could have him, this is his little spout coming up we could cut off this little thing that might be cute huh so we could just trim that so if we have him and then his this little blowhole kind of coming up here that would be cute so then we just need maybe some water down here of some kind so we could put Maybe a few, a couple rows. Hmm. A couple rows of this to be the water, and he's coming up out of the water, right? He's breaching up out of the, the blowhole up with his friend in the water. That might be fun, yeah. So let's, let's do that. Let's do a couple of rows here. Um, do we, let's see, do we want to color this first? We want to put some ink on it. Maybe we want to ink it up a little bit. The blue sky behind him. Let's do blue and then we could do... Um, we could try the... Oh, he's, you know, he's bright and that's kind of bright. Let's 
We could do some edging in the in the bright green, that kind of citron. I really liked that blue and green on that other tag, and since we covered it with lace, it's not it's not you know super noticeable. So if we put some blue on this one. All right, this can be the sky. And then we're popping up out of the water down there. Okay, so let's do edge it since we since this is really bright green let's do the bright green around the edging it may not show up very much against this blue because it is very very yellowy but I think it'll be a nice little nice little touch we'll go ahead and go all the way around even though we're gonna put that jewels at the bottom we might still see the edge having a good time with this so I'm feeling like this is moving right along and you know some days things go some days things go better than others and it's going pretty well today so let's go ahead and put some of this on the back I really love this this is one of my favorite colors this is twisted citron you know so it's very lemon lemon limey you know I like really bright colors so that is one of the things I was thinking about when I was coloring some of this stuff is I thought well you know I've kind of done it done it pretty bright I mean not all of it there's there's some that's subdued um, but you know but I like really bright so um, I like I like the antique -y look on things you know, that's fun but I like really bright too and I kind of like the juxtaposition of the two of them so like I really like this coffee dyed, you know, dyed looking dark paper with this pop of bright green around it. That's, I like that a lot. Okay, so let's put, let's put some ocean down here. Next glue stick is going in and it doesn't want to doesn't want to go. Yep, got some glue coming through there, but that's okay. Kind of put a lot on just to make sure we had enough. I'm gonna put another layer here. a little more. I guess I should have gone and washed my hands, you know, get some rid of some of the glue. I said I was going to and <laughs> I forgot in my excitement with how much how much I like that last tag and how much fun I'm having. I forgot to go do that. Okie dokie. The only thing about hot glue is sometimes you get those threads, especially like this, because it, there's a mesh underneath and it's not it's not covered, you know, it's not solid. You're gonna get those, but that's okay. You can take them off. Let's see if we can get that all nice and trimmed. There we go, that looks pretty good. Save that, we might want it. Okay, so we've got some sky, we've got some ocean, we've got our whale, we've got his little 
spout coming up. Let's see, we're gonna need something else, I think. What else can we put on here? Um, we don't need any more fish because, I guess, I mean, we could put another row of ocean, I suppose. But that seems like a little overkill, maybe. <laughs> this coming from me, right? <laughs> Is that gonna be overkill? I don't know. Let's look. We had three rows of ocean. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just a little more water so it looks more like it's water. Yeah, I think we need a third row of ocean. Third row, more ocean. All right. Hmm. This is way too much fun. I hope you guys have some things that you think are fun that you like, you know, that are just fun for you to make. That you're making those. Because I know I am having fun with this today. And I always, I always have fun, but some things are just more fun than others, it seems like. And maybe it's the day, maybe it's, maybe it's the topic. Maybe it's the fact that I'm doing this in the morning and usually I do this in the afternoon. That could be it. Trim those. Okay. Got a little more ocean. I don't have any boats. If I had a little boat, wouldn't that be cute? Put a little boat in the background. Ooh, I wonder if I have a boat. Okay, before, before I put him on here, I am going to pause the camera and look through my stuff to see if I have a little boat to put in the background because I think that would be really cute. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I didn't find very many boats. I, I thought about maybe just drawing a sailboat, but I have a couple of little tiny little ships that might be fun um, because it would be like scale. They would be way up in the distance on the horizon of the water. Um, you know, I mean, maybe we could tuck them in down there. I like them up here better. So he would be way off in the distance in the horizon and then we're looking at the whale. So that might be fun. These are a little large and they're kind of tossed on the ocean. This one's the wrong angle. And this one's a little too big. He's, he's pretty big. Um, and I'm thinking we're looking at something that we want it to be off in the horizon. So I'm a little disappointed I didn't really find, didn't really find a boat I was looking for. Um, but I think, you know, I think this will be okay. I think we'll go ahead and use this one just because we've, we've got it out and it adds just another little something, little something, something. And I mean, really with all that bling, I don't know what else you would need. So we'll go ahead and put that in the middle so that he's kind of arching up over it. You know, because we're going to want to kind of have him here. We'll have his spout here. And, you know, and I'm looking at it thinking that's kind of simple, but maybe maybe that's enough with all of the, all of the blingy stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe once I get it on here, I'll be like, oh, no, it needs something else because... I always think it needs something else, <laughs> but okay. And then this one is a sticker, but again, I am going to add some glue to it just to help it stick. I just worry, worry that it won't stay. Especially pulling it in and out, you know, of the pocket. That probably is not conducive to having a, a sticker stay down. Okay. Now that's a lot of fun. I just, I feel like maybe we need something else, but I'm, I'm not sure what right this instant. What else could we put on there that would be cute? I mean, we could put we could put some more trim. What are we gonna do for his little holder up there? Let's see. Um, 
did I do with that green trim? Okay. Now I've lost it. See, I just had it. There's the blue. Well, here's a little bit of the blue that's down into two. No, that seems like overkill to, to put that. You know. Nope. Too much. That's overkill. <laughs> Which is really hard for me to say because, you know, too much is never enough as far as I'm concerned. Got a little bit of the green. What could we do with this? We could... It's pretty pliable. I wonder if we could... What could we... Can we loop that through and make that the little topper to hold it by? Don't know. Don't know how that would look. Don't know if that'll fit through. Okay. Um, I think I think this one's nice. I guess I'm I'm not as enamored with it. Uh, but I don't, I don't think it has quite as much stuff on it. And I like a lot of stuff on mine. So I'm just not sure what else to put on it. So I think I'm going to leave it um, as it is. I do like the little the little ship in the background. That's kind of fun. And our, our whale coming up out of the water. So I, I think he's kind of fun. I think maybe we could go ahead and punch a hole up there. Let's see if that... If that uh, Let's see where the center is. See if I can get it in the middle this time. Probably not because I always think I have the middle and then I lose the middle when I put it when I put it in here. Right? Nope, still didn't get the middle. <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, sir. Okay, maybe we can loop this through. We'll see. I don't know. I've never, I've never used this for looping through a tag like this. Oh, that went right through. Let's see. Don't want to twist it too much. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work. Yeah, I don't know if I like the way that looks or not. Kind of because you can see the back. It's not very pretty on the back. Hmm. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. What else do we have? This is pretty. This would be pretty through there, I think. Let's try that. Maybe we'll just let the, this one be a little more simple. And maybe we'll put some sentiment on it when we put it in the book. That might be a way to go. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Maybe. Maybe a little long up there. There we go. Okay, I think we're going to call that one done. So we've got our whale, our whale of a tail. All right, we could put some words here maybe. We could even put a whale of a tail. That might be cute. <laughs> and then we have our mermaid sitting in the sun sparkling. And we have our under the ocean netting. Somebody trying to catch some fish. All right. So I had a really good time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Give me a thumbs up down there. Please subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Any of those things help me a lot. It really helps. It helps move me up in the rankings and, and helps um, other people find me. Uh, and that way, you know, if you if you like to play along, then then you're here for, you know, for all the good stuff. And maybe so are your friends. That'd be great. So I hope you had a great time. Remember, until I see you again, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.